I've had praises. That's <laughs> great. <laughs> I, like, I like praising. That is very. That's someone saying nice things about me. That's great. Tell us a little bit about the character you're playing in the series. Absolutely. Uh, so my character is Holden, and the uh, story of Beyond is based around <laughs> him waking up after a 12-year <laughs> and it is him finding out who he is and who this really this new world really is about and his family has changed all of his friends and, and just sort of understanding what modern society now brings to the table and on top of that he has these superhuman capabilities that are a big aspect of sort of him finding out who he is what they are and what to do with them so at the, at the beginning once he's out of the coma does he basically I'm assuming a lot of this is sort of discovering what his abilities are but to an extent, you're also sort of creating the rules for the audience, aren't you? Yeah. So it's not like the superpowers of the week. It's like once we know what he can do, that's it. It's a, well, I mean, it's you're finding out exactly. He when he wakes up, he doesn't know. It's not I wake up. Oh, I have superpowers. He, he he figures out that he has them. Let alone throughout the scene, he figures out exactly the extent of what he can do, what they are, where they came. You know, there's so many questions that he wants to ask and originally doesn't have anyone to ask to and eventually throughout the season we start to answer those questions very slowly and sort of exactly it's it's learning a new superpower with the audience as through Holden's eyes figuring out what he really has now. So as you continue to explore this character more is there anything you found that you're surprised to learn about yourself as a person? Uh, yeah, that's a good question. Um, for me uh, it was it was definitely fun to to read in the scripts of these experiences that uh, Holden got to experience um, sort of at his, at his first and sort of see these things and it was fun exactly going to revisit almost for me and going oh yeah I remember that when I had that happen I, you know I remember when I the first night I you know snuck out in you know and went to a party that I shouldn't have in high school or oh I, I remember when I you know was so nervous talking to a girl for the first time or I remember you know just talking to my parents is when the, it's just it was a lot of cool times that you'd see them and I had fun playing with them in the script but as well as when I first read them would sort of reminisce on myself is exactly as there's so many things that he's experiencing that I myself had also experienced growing up. So everybody wants to have powers, right? Of course. Of course. Why not? Um, what powers would you want if you could have them? Mm. If I could have superpowers, uh, I mean, I'd love to fly, but that's a bit too cliche. <laughs> So, uh, what I've, I've always admired uh, in like the X-Men, for example, like Magneto's power of being able to manipulate metal and technology and sort of having that. So I think being able to flick off the lights on and off when I was sitting in bed or turn the TV channel when I needed to, I think that would be pretty handy. Did you do any sort of research in terms of like, you know, because obviously Magneto has a very certain physicality mm -hmm. on screen, right? Definitely. So when you're dealing with things, obviously, that you don't actually have, mm -hmm. um, and you're dealing, uh, acting in an element where something is happening, but you're not actually making it happen, yeah. uh, did you do any sort of studying, looking at other actors, what they were doing? Did you go with a gut instinct? Uh, I think it was a combination of all those things. I mean, I am an avid uh, superhero fan from when I was just a little kid. So I have watched so many movies from so many different creators um, that have had these superpowers. And as well as, exactly, when you're reacting to something that isn't there, you get to sort of create something new and a new stance, a new way of using abilities, a new way of understanding them. So it was a really fun uh, way with our... A multiple uh, amazing directors we had as well as our, our team and Adam our creators really just talked through how this character would use them what it would look like and we I think we came out with his sort of uh, a very cool sort of mojo that Holden has when he uses his uh, his abilities is your character though is there like an inbuilt conflict because there's like a line I think it's in the, in the new Spider-Man says you know I, I can't I got all these abilities I could be the, you know the football star but I can't because I wasn't before so even though you have all these things you can't just sort of go this is me man absolutely I mean he and his and I could totally agree. And on top of that, with that responsibility of having those, is he cannot just live a normal life anymore. If he just stayed at home wherever it was, the antagonistic forces that you'll see throughout the show um, know about those abilities and want to harness those powers and use them. 
for their own gain. So he is now forced to protect and become the protector of this movie, the protector of the people that he loves, and as well as needs to stay low key. So I mean, he can't go and you know exactly go move a building with his mind when it's in his way, or you know pick up all the cars and drive through if he, there's traffic. So there's definitely abilities that he needs to keep under wraps in order to keep himself and the people that he loves safe. What's been the most rewarding as well as the most challenging experience? Uh, I think. One of the most uh, rewarding uh, aspects of it would be things like this. I mean, I think having people be interested and be enticed by the show that we've created is really an amazing tribute to our creators and Adam and the rest of our network and our team to be able to create a show that people are going to like. And I think that's such a cool part of my job to be able to come here and tell you about something that I'm really excited about and be able to show the audience now. And it's coming out very soon. Uh, the most challenging part about uh, creating the show and creating the character, I would say, uh, was also a an interesting aspect of it would be to was the creation of it, as uh, we mentioned before. But we were really trying to create something new and something different, and being able to take a character who's very rooted in reality, but sort of keep the real life aspects of day to day life while having these abilities was a really sort of fun challenge for the writers to have, for us to sort of do in the, in the acting of it, and it was a, it was a fun challenge. So, oh, sorry. Um, so I don't know how much you can see. It's probably not a lot. Um, <laughs> but there's a lot of, I'm assuming there's going to be a lot of twists and turns. Uh, first, <laughs> how far ahead did you know um, when things were going to happen in terms of getting scripts? And then two, was there a specific moment or a specific twist um, that you were just sort of really blown away by? Uh, there are, I mean, when did I have until I realized there was going to be a twist or turn? I mean, I think the first episode itself has very interesting elements that even when I was reading the first drafts of it, was like, oh, well, that's not what I had expected. I mean, you had to flip back and go, wait, that's character's that's like, so it's a, it's a very interesting way, and I mean, our writers and they are really want to keep you intrigued, and it's a really cool part of, I think, their job is to be able to create those, as you said, twists and turns to be able to do that. I can't say too much, but I will say that there are some there are some small dynamic twists and turns with characters. There's character arcs that people may not turn out the way they think they are, and as we mentioned before, waking up and being blind to everything and not knowing whose side everyone's on, including what side really he should be on, to be in the world, I think you're going to discover that some of the characters introduce themselves and may not exactly be who they say they are to Holden, and especially to everyone else. Somebody said at the top of the conversation, we were talking about the number of these shows that are out there. What is it about this show that is so much cooler than the ones we've seen, or maybe takes a different take from some of the other shows that were even filmed that are out there? Yeah, of course. Um, I think uh, I will speak to uh, what Adam uh, references in our creator of our show, Adam Start, and he. Um, we're trying to uh, put on television a really cool take on, as I said, a superhero sort of story that is very much a modern day reality sort of thing, where it's the character is rooted and being a young boy growing up, but as well as endowed with these, with these powers. So it's, it's a journey for him, and not just discovering what these powers mean, but as well as who he is. I think sort of figuring out who he is on that journey is enough to, to entice everyone, but as well as his powers is sort of a cool sort of, I think, a twist on it. We have time for one more question. How exciting has it been for you to witness just the fan excitement for all this and the whole convention circuit overall? <laughs> That's it. I'm speechless. I have no words. It is an unbelievable honor to be sitting here to talk to you guys because it means that people are interested and people want to know, and that is everything that I could dream of. So, I mean, I am just unbelievably blessed to be sitting here, and I really have no words to show my gratitude that, hey, come watch our show. I think it's cool, and I'm so glad and hope that some people think it is too. So you're going to go around San Diego next year dressed as like an X-Men or something? <laughs> so you could be incognito? I was going to say, and I'm going to check out the whole exhibit. Yeah. Exactly. Do it here as well. Or you could just cosplay as your character. Right. And then nobody and then would believe that. Right? People believe comes it. up to me and they go, and I go, isn't that in that I've working on this for forever? And it's all prosthetics. <laughs> and that's not me. I was going to say, I wonder if I could pull that off. <laughs> I like the guy in the show a whole lot better. Yeah. <laughs> hey, thank you. Yeah. Thank, thank you. Thank you, guys. Appreciate it.